Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jacqueline and in today's video I'm bringing you my review, demo and this makeup look using some of the newest addition to the Pillow Talk family of Charlotte Tilbury. But before we get started and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider to subscribe to my channel and ring the post notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. Also, come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see more about this newest addition to the Pillow Talk family from Charlotte Tilbury, then just keep on watching. So the Pillow Talk family has grown. I was excited when I knew that she was coming with the Pillow Talk um, line of lipsticks, lip liners, a new blush, and then one of her large eyeshadow palettes, which is just gorgeous. It's so, so beautiful. So here you go. I got the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. The packaging is just so beautiful. I don't know if the camera is able to show you right here, but it has, it looks pillowy, just so, so pretty. It has this kind of like vintage bubble gum type of pink that I personally love. I don't know, I just feel this is just so feminine. I don't save too many of my um, actual packaging, but this one, I feel like I wanna save it because I really love it. It's very feminine. And this palette right here costs $75, just exactly the same as her other instant eye palettes. And then I also have purchased the Pillow Talk Matte Revolution Lipstick in the medium shade and as well as the Pillow Talk Lip Shade in the medium shade. And then pricing on these two lipstick products, um, the lipstick, it's the regular price $34 and the lip sheet, the lip pencil, it is $22. Now, she also have bundles and on the bundles, you can save a little bit of money right there. So this bundle right here, and that costing me $52 instead of $56, so I save $4. And by the way, I'm gonna link all the products below. I also have a, it's not an affiliate link, it is kind of like a referral link and this actually you as a customer can have also a referral link so it goes for everybody. Basically you get $20 off of a $100 purchase. So just look up on my description box below and then you can find it right there. But anyhow, um, there you go. So I have these three products and I'm just gonna do kind of like a full face trying these new products and I'm gonna try and use another pillow top products that i have here in my collection as well and i'm going to give you comparisons and swatches of each of these products okay so let me take out the eyeshadow palette it's just so beautiful her rectangular packaging i mean her logo right here it just looks so luxury and then when you open it up you'll find one of these um protectors right over here and here are the beautiful shades I mean, those shades are just so gorgeous. Okay, so if you're not familiar with Charlotte Tilbury, I really like her system. Usually, her luxury quads, they basically, you can create one look just following her one, two, three, four step. Now, on her, on these palettes, the instant palettes, you actually follow that one, two, three step, and then you have a daytime look. So you start one for prime, two to enhance and three is to smoke and then for example the luxury ones on the quads they have a pop shade which is kind of like this celestial type of topper um, on these type of palettes you will not have it but i really like that she just kind of like makes it easier for us so again we have the daytime look the desk look the date and the dream and this palette is not all very pink. And another thing that I like about this palette in comparison with other palettes that she has come out with, like this last um, holiday and 2018 holiday, is that most of these palettes, they are pretty much 80% shimmer shades. On this case, she's giving us a lot more matte shades. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades that they are matte shades. And then the rest are shimmer, which 
I really appreciate because that give us a lot more options to be more playful and to do create looks that they are a little bit different if we don't want to follow her system so that's that now this palette right here is made in Italy just as her other palettes okay so let's go ahead and go into the swatches so I'm gonna start right here this is the day Okay, this shade right here from the desk, it pulls a little bit more corally tone. And same thing from the desk, it has a little bit of a warmer tone. And then the dream one, I think this one right here is the most um, adventurous, I guess. <laughs> Okay, now let's go into the Pillow Talk lipstick. This is the beautiful outer packaging. And then the actual component, it is the same as all of her other lipsticks. This is her matte formula, which is a beautiful formula. So this is the shade. That's the medium shade. And then I also have right here, Pillow Talk, the OG. Um, Pillow Talk pulls just a little bit more pink. Okay, and now into the Pillow Talk lip sheet right here. So again, packaging very cohesive with the new line. And then um, this is Pillow Talk 2 medium. Sonia G Classic Crease, I'm gonna go into the desk. I only have a little bit of concealer and setting powder on my eyelid right now. Sonia G Mini Booster, and I'm gonna go into Day Shade right here. And I'm just gonna take it on my outer V. And that has a lot of pigmentation, a lot of pigment. I'm going to take that same shade on my lower lash line. I'm going to go again into the day area and use this middle shimmer shade. I'm going to apply it dry right now. Definitely if you want a little bit more payoff, you can wet the shadow with a little bit of fix glass or the mixing medium. With my Sonia G Flat Definer brush, I'm gonna go into the Dream section. And I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lash line. I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. I'm just gonna create kind of like a mini wing. Refer 03 brush. I'm gonna go to the day and I'm gonna go to that lighter shimmer shade and I'm gonna use it for my inner corner as well as on my brow bone. And this has, although it's champagne, it does have a little bit of like a pink shift to it. Okay, I'm gonna finish my other eyelid off camera and be right back with you so we can. Okay, friends, so I just finished with my eyes and just to let you know, the new Pillow Talk line from Charlotte Tilbury also includes a liner, an eyeliner. I didn't bought it, um, but I use on my waterline this Alkaline 24-7 eyeliner from Urban Decay. Um, the other one, I don't know, like for example, I don't use this one that much. And again, the Pillow Talk one is kind of this reddish tone that I don't know, I may adventure to get it. Maybe yes, maybe not, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. And again, this is the medium one. Okay, and now let's go with the Pillow Talk in medium.
finally this shade is actually showing on my lips and for blush i'm gonna be using the cheek to cheek blush um, in pillow talk and this is the original one there's a darker version i may go ahead and get it but honestly um i mean right now i'm tanner so i may go ahead and get it a bit let's try this one so you're supposed to do swish and then pop <laughs> This has a beautiful, very light sheen to it. And then the pop shade, you're supposed to pop it right there on your um, apples of your cheek. I like to put a little bit of blush right here on my nose and a little bit on my temples. So yeah, Charlotte Tilly is gonna come with one of these beauty ones, actually two of these beauty ones um, in Pillow Talk. One that it seems like to be a uh, champagne with a pink hint and then the other one seems to be a little bit more golden tone. Okay my friends and here it is the final look. Now going into my final thoughts starting with the eyeshadow palette. This is um, these type of palettes right here are a better value than her luxury quads so this you get more for your money um i mean we all know if you're gonna buy something from charlotte tilbury you know that you're gonna invest some money right there but her formula it is outstanding it is consistent there's no fallout there's easy of blendability um, now she tends to go for um very alike shades and therefore this palette what i like about it is although it's pillow talk is not extremely pink so basically you have here your pinky shades right here these right here are more coral orangey tones they may not suit every skin tone particularly on my skin tone they suit me well that's that those colors they look good on me because they have a little bit of golden undertones on my skin so they look good on me and then you have these brown warm tones right here which are kind of like not your neutrals but kind of that neutral you know like everyday look and then she give us these three shades right here that are a little bit more punchy more pinkish Honestly, I'm not too crazy about this was color right here. Um, the liner, it was okay, but I know like in this combination will look good, but I wish that this color was maybe a little bit more deeper in tone. Um, but other than that, I like the palette. Now, if you have several of um, eyeshadow palettes from Charlotte Tilbury, mostly her um, two last holiday palettes right here if you have the regular pillow talk and if you have the walk of shame palette then i don't think you will need this new palette unless you want to have it all in once this is the regular pillow talk right here and this right here it is the walk of shame which i made reviews on these palettes right here and um, i will try to leave it on the cards or down below but if you have those palettes this is the thing with charlotte Tilbury. she doesn't name every single eyeshadow so you don't know exactly okay i'm getting this one from this and this one from here now she is um uh, fairly honest when she repeats a shade she mentions it on the description this time around there's no mentioning on any repeated shades but the shades are so similar that you can get really similar looks from these palettes with the new palette. So do you need it? Perhaps no, I mean, if you have them all, but nonetheless, it is indeed a beautiful palette. I love um, the case that it comes with, and I don't think she's overdoing it with Pillow Talk. I think it's the smart way to move around. A lot of people criticize uh, luxury brands and um, brands that, that 
uh, you know, they have all this attention that they are not inclusive. So this shows a little bit more of like, okay, I'm going to expand the line. I'm going to be more inclusive. And I hope this is kind of it. So I think she's rounding up a line that is overhyped. And I hope that after this, there's no more like pillow talk, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you know, because then it will be too much. But I think, you know, it's... I think it has been up on demand like myself. I find out that the regular Pillow Talk um, lipstick doesn't show on my lips as I want to. And this right here, the new Pillow Talk Medium, it shows. And same thing with the lip sheet. Um, so if you're like, I really want to use the Pillow Talk, but I can because, you know, it doesn't make any difference on my, either for my skin tone or because how pigmented are my lips, I mean, like, etc. right? Um, I think this kind of rounds up that collection of Pillow Talk and then um, it is a good wise marketing and business aspect and then, you know, it's placing those clients that had been wanting to try Pillow Talk before and I think hopefully this is it and it doesn't occur like the NARS orgasm that is like the forever story, never ending of products. But yeah, I think uh, that rounds it up for this video, my friends. If you want to see more swatches, close-ups, comparisons, etc., let me know in the comments below. I can post it on my Instagram. Thank you so, so much for your support, for being here, staying tuned. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also share with somebody else that may like these type of videos. And if you haven't done so yet, you're really waiting too long, just go ahead, look under the screen, subscribe to my channel, and do not forget to ring the post notification bell because really that's the only way that YouTube will let you know whenever I upload new videos. And if you don't want to miss any of my content, just ring the post notification bell. And once again, all the products will be listed on the description box below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.